Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by ShopRockinghamCounty.com. Residents of Brookdale Eden Retirement and Assisted Living, 314 West Kings Highway, were evacuated briefly overnight when an employee smelled gas near the kitchen area. That occurred about 7.15. Residents returned around 8.30 after Piedmont Natural Gas confirmed everything was okay. One patient was taken to the hospital, routine traffic. Eden Fire Department and Rockingham County EMS were among those responding, with Madison Rockingham Rescue Squad on standby. Eden Police Arrest Report. Noah Scott Thornton, 120 Fawn Road, driving while impaired and possession of drug paraphernalia. Savannah Gray Lewis, 136 Westlake Road. And Jose Enrique Rivera, 604 Robert Street, driving while impaired. Ashley Stevens, 126 Joyce Court, fraud. Tommy Lee Marlowe, felony larceny. Brianna Sims Evans, 121-49 NC 87 South, providing alcohol to a person underage. Brittany Nicole Beasley, 125 Blair Trail, Reedsville, felony possession of cocaine. Finally, after a lot of secrecy and speculation, there's been an announcement from Netflix about a movie filmed in downtown Madison. A year ago, Madison Dry Goods and Country Store was closed for over a month. The windows covered up and a film production crew moved in. Madison was one of three sites around the country to shoot 28 Days Haunted. The others, Denver, Colorado and Preston, Connecticut all known for paranormal activities. 28 Days Haunted premieres internationally on Netflix Friday, October 21st in 23 languages. The official trailer is on their website now. Numbers in the news. With recent top executive changes, Truist Financial Corporation has announced the annual base salary from Michael McGuire will be $700,000 as the bank's chief financial officer. Clark Starnes III, chief risk officer at Truist, will be making $760,000 annually. Now Rockingham County weather from Shiloh Airport. Sunny, high today 72, high Wednesday and Thursday 68, low in the low to upper 40s. Friday, a 60% chance of rain. Saturday, 90%. High, 63. Low, 53. Sunday, again, a 60% chance of rain. Triad, record highs and lows on this day. 90, 2017, 39, 1940. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream 24-hour weather camera. Powered by heat and air controllers. You can depend on them for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. I was talking with Tan and Chris in durable medical equipment at Lane's Family Pharmacy in Eden. Here's a sample of what they have. Lift chairs, CPAP machines, nebulizers, manual wheelchairs, canes and crutches, ostomy products, incontinent supplies, For bath safety, transfer shower benches, grab bars, and shower chairs. Orthopedic, back, wrist, ankle, and knee braces. Compression socks and diabetic shoes. Lanes on Highway 14 is Eden's only accredited DME provider. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. Big top 10 matchup this Saturday night, 7.30 kickoff for number 5 Clemson at home against number 10 NC State. Both teams 4-0 heading into the matchup. Clemson 2-0 in ACC Atlantic play. It's the first conference matchup of the season for the Wolfpack. Home game for the Carolina Panthers this Sunday afternoon, 4.05 kickoff against the Cardinals. Both teams enter at 1-2. On Monday, the Panthers waived linebacker Aaron Mosby. Meanwhile, Cardinals wide receiver A.J. Green could be out this week with a bone bruise. The race for the crown in the National League East is coming down to the wire. The Atlanta Braves with a big 8-0 win on Monday. They shut out the Nationals in Washington, D.C. Atlanta a game behind the Mets in the race for the division title. Matt Olson and Orlando Arcia with two run homers. Marcelo Zuna added a solo shot for Atlanta. 
the Lightning Fast Sports Updates, download the Score app. It's free and one of the most popular sports apps in North America. That's the Sports Flash, Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. Podcast preview, I'll be talking with Randy Hunt, new director of the Small Business Center at Rockingham Community College. Available on all of the top podcast platforms this morning around 930 Now the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. On Facebook, Night Owl National Stoneworks. Live music festival for hospice at Ferris Memorial Park in Mayadan has been rescheduled for spring 2023. Nary a thing chapter of the Andy Griffith Show Rerun Watchers Club at the Madison Mayadan Public Library today, 3 to 5. Episode Trivia Light Snacks. Job and Resource Fair at NC Work Center, Highway 87, Reedsville, tomorrow, 10 to 1, with 12 employers, agency information, resources, free hot dogs, chips, and drinks. Den River Basin Association outing, 4.5-mile float from Mayo Beach at Anglin Mill to NC 770 near Stoneville, Saturday, beginning at 9. Second Chance Prom at Hive, Uptown Eden, Saturday, celebrating two years in business. Tickets now on sale at Hive, $25 per person, $40 a couple, includes fancy grazing table and small gift. Annual Oktoberfest, Martinsville, Uptown, Saturday, 11 to 4. Food vendors, kids' activities, beer garden, live music. Charity Golf Tournament for Friends of Eden Animal Rescue at Oak Hills Golf Course, Saturday at 1. Registration, $55. Backlash Party Band will be at Lucky City Brewing, Gilmer Street, Reedsville, Saturday, 7 till 11. Reedsville Kiwanis Club Annual Golf Tournament at Monroton Golf Club, Sunday, beginning at 9, $55 per player, biscuit breakfast, lunch, prizes, goodie bags, event support over two dozen local programs. Summerfest Beach Music Festival and Car Show at Wright Memorial Event Center, Slayton Road, Eden, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 7th, 8th, and 9th. With Chairman of the Board, Motown Review, Band of Oz, Blackwater Rhythm and Blues, the Catalinas, the Tams, and others. Get complete details on Facebook at Wright Memorial Event Center and tickets at eventbrite.com. Announcements are made free on the community calendar. Here's what's happening this week at Reedsville Trading Post, downtown. Today, Polymer Clay Beads class at 6.30. Tomorrow, pickup day for the What's Good Co-op Market. Items from local farmers, artisans, chefs, and other vendors. Thursday, homeschool hangout in the workshop, 10 to 2. Friday, acrylic gnome class, 6 to 8. Saturday, kids creative arts, 9 to noon. Reedsville Trading Post is an old-time country store with a modern flair. There's nothing like it anywhere in the area. More than 40 local, regional, and North Carolina vendors at 111 South Scale Street, downtown Reedsville. Open Monday through Saturday, 8.30 to 6. Now today's Consumer Report, sponsored by Cone Health, Annie Penn Hospital. We're with you. T-Mobile's agreement to a $350 million data breach settlement means millions of past and present customers could receive compensation, but probably not a lot. Reuters reports the average consumer payment could be $25 or less after legal cost and other expenses. The latest USDA Consumer Price Index for food shows that while a few foodstuffs slowed down on price from July to August, others are still rising. Americans are still paying 8.9% more for meat than they did a year ago. Those prices are expected to keep going up. When it comes to customer satisfaction with online retailers, the American Customer Satisfaction Index found Etsy leads the pack. Now, with more than $2 billion in sales, the platform has found a niche somewhere between eBay and Amazon, one that shoppers apparently like. I'm Mark Kaufman. 
Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today in history, 1789, the first U.S. Congress adopted 12 amendments to the Constitution. Ten became the Bill of Rights. 1933, Tom Mix was heard on NBC Radio for the first time. His show ran until 1950. 1968, a lot of us uh, remember this, Wayne Jones Ford opened on Highway 14 in Eden. Oh, listen up, here's lunch. Today we're celebrating National Corned Beef Hash Day and National Chocolate Milk Day. There it is, great combination, and it's National Day of Forgiveness. Now, the birthday club. Let's see who's celebrating for September 27. Wait, what? No names on the birthday club? Well, this is uh, fairly rare, but no birthdays that I know about today. I have, uh, I have birthdays for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and plenty for next month. Text the rest of September and October birthdays to me. Get in on the birthday club and our weekly giveaway. Here's a number, 336-932-1881. 881. I do have some big name birthdays. Gwyneth Paltrow, 50. Sean Cassidy, 64. Little Wayne, 40. Randy Bachman, 79. Here's author Philip Gully with an excerpt from his book, For Everything a Season. Despite its somber air, I savor fall's restful beauty. It provides a colorful calm in our otherwise busy lives, a time for wiener roasts, pumpkin carving, and trips to Beasley's Orchard. Beasley's Orchard sits east of town on Old Highway 36. New Highway 36 is a mile south, loud, fast, and pushy. It is a type A road. Old Highway 36 is tranquil. Farmhouses sit back from the road, rooted in time. It is the road for minstrels and poets, for people who treasure the journey over the destination. Beasley's Orchard sits amongst the farmhouses, row after row of wine saps, granny smiths, and early blaze spill down to the roadside. Joyce Lakin bakes apple cobbler at the orchard every fall. People drive out from the city on Saturday afternoons, walking the rows, wishing they could live among such quiet splendor. The rows steer them toward the barn where Joyce serves the cobbler. They buy a serving of cobbler. Then they buy a gallon of cider, caramel apples, and a stick of whorehound candy. Later in the season, when the pumpkins come on, Joyce adds pumpkin pie to the list. I thought of taking my pumpkins to her, but decided instead to take them to the family wiener roast. We unloaded the pumpkins from the truck and spread them on the ground. The older children carve their own pumpkins. The younger children draw faces on the pumpkins, and the menfolk carve them. Carving their own pumpkins will become a rite of passage, I can tell. I know my son's. I've decided that the year they carved their first pumpkin will be the Christmas they received their first pocket knife. It will be a sweet year for them. When the knife plunges into the pumpkin and the wet pumpkin smell rises up and takes me back, that is the sure sign that summer is past. I lay down my knife and pause, then thank the Lord for another year of bounty for healthy boys and a tender wife, and for friends who snicker at my pumpkins in summer and yearn for them in fall. For Everything a Season, the latest collection of stories by author Philip Gully is available from Multnomah Publishers. Now finishing up as usual with our motivational moment. Before you spread gossip about somebody's life and their failures, remember there are chapters of your life you don't want read out loud either. Thank you, friends, for listening. Uh, for listening. Uh, I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. And remember to count your blessings.